In this video, we're going to take a look at how to infuse the water with the molecular hydrogen. The water infusion stone accessory is uh, included with your hydrogeni. The blue stone will go into the water that you want to infuse. You'll then connect the connector to the gas output and select 10 minutes. For most glasses, up to a quart and even, uh, even up to half a gallon, 10 minutes is about right. Uh, 15 minutes for a gallon. Uh, a few seconds after you start the hydrogeni, you'll see the uh, bubbles start to become out of the uh, water infusion stone and we'll begin to infuse the molecular hydrogen into the water. It's dissolving both hydrogen and oxygen. Once the time is up, uh, the air, will, the gas will stop coming out of the end of the attachment and then you can, you can drink the water. Molecular hydrogen stays dissolved in water uh, for about uh, a half-life of two hours, meaning at the end of two hours it, there's half as much as at the beginning of the time when you finished infusing it into the into the water. We're using glass in this demonstration, um, but you can get uh, dr drinking water bottles um, that online or in stores that are made of aluminum and that actually uh, they actually infuse a little better and a little quicker. Uh, in there and then when you cap them up the aluminum stops the hydrogen from escaping as fast. So in glass or plastic the, you can expect the hydrogen to escape fairly quickly. Uh, if you cap your aluminum bottle after you have infused it uh, it's going to last for several more hours uh, past that even well into the day. So this is something that you could do before you leave um, for work in the morning or to go to school and carry the aluminum water bottle with you. Um, as long as it's tightly capped, you should have plenty of hydrogen throughout your day.